All right. Welcome to our first video. Welcome. Lou and Jess, keeping it simple. Yes, Thanks for watching. Today we're going to make some juice. We're going to show you how to make an awesome juice. What's our first step? We're going to show you start to finish. How to assemble the juicer. How to actually make the juice. How to clean the juicer. How to drink the juice. Okay? Even how you could store it. If you how to properly store the juice. In the morning. What's the secret to storing the juice? Airtight containers. What type of airtight container? Oh, we love all different kinds. Mason jars. Mason jar glass. We use spaghetti jars. We'll go all in fat later. We're going to show you start to finish. Here is our juicer. Where do we get it from? Target. 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 They call it Target. Target. $99. $99. The Dash Juicer. Dash Juicer. A lot of our friends, we're spreading the word on the juice, telling everybody about the juicers. Not everybody's gotten the juicer, the same juicer that we've gotten. They paid more, gone More money, there. gone other places. So far we feel extremely fortunate from the feedback that we've gotten that our juicer's awesome. They taste our juicer that this is a really good juice. Your juicer didn't cost that much, $99. We're not getting compensated by Target. We're not getting compensated by anybody. We just want you to drink the juice, follow our videos, see what we're going to do next. Uh, it's all about Lou and Jess. Keeping it simple. We're going to teach you about juicing, teach you about artwork. We have this palette here in the background. Brand new palette. We're going to do some paintings. We're going to teach you all about that. Forget about that for now. Let's start with the juicing. So, assembling the juicer. First thing, where's our plastic bag? You go to the grocery store, you forget your reusable plastic bag. They give you one of these. You feel bad because you know it's not good for the environment to get these bags. No, we hate the bags, but we do but accumulate them. We accumulate them by accident. We forget to bring the recyclable bag. I forget bag. our recyclable bag. Not blame you. Everybody forgets to bring the bag occasionally. Okay, no problem. We're going to reuse the bag. We're going to recycle the bag. Put in the back here, this is the catcher. This is the catches all the dried stuff that shoots out of the juice, right? All the pulp. The pulp. You can't eat it, you don't want to eat it, it's dried out. Boom. Just Put that right here. Plug in the juicer. Don't keep your juicer, don't keep anything plugged in that you're not using. Because even if you're not using it, it's sucking energy. It's your cell phone charger, charger, your lamps. Microwave. You name it, microwave. Not using it, unplug it. Be friendly to the environment. The less energy you use, the better. Yep. So. And save you money. And it saves you money. <laughs> Put this in the back here. Okay. Put that in the back. Line it up. We've got the the the, the base, base of our thing. thing which two parts. This is separate. This That's keeps separate. Of the funnel of the juice Boom. going juice. into the canister. Should we go into centrifugal and press? There's juice? three major types of juicers, okay? There is a centrifugal juicer, which is what we have. Most people have the centrifugal juicer. This is the most common juicer. There's the macerating juicer, which has a corkscrew in it. Chomps up the food. It chomps it up. Squishes it out. Squishes it out the other end. The third type of juicer. Cold press juicer. Cold press juicer. Super expensive, super hard to clean, supposedly the best, but you know what? As far as we're concerned, it's great for home use. First juice there. Home use. The meat. $99. We've been using it for two months now. Awesome. Start juicing. <laughs> so, juice catcher. Here's a little grinder. This is the thing that spins around the centrifugal part. This is very sharp right in here. And then this is the mesh. Pulls out the juice, extracts the dry ingredients out the top, pop that on, right here, boom, Bang. next, top, pop that on, squeeze it in, make sure you get it in here, clean seal around the bag, we what put do in next? the uh, safety latch, so that's safety all latch. secured in, seal. It's in, we're almost done, it's that easy, <laughs> we uh, got the juice catcher, it has nice measuring cups, um, to let you know how much juice you are accumulating. Up to four cups four is cups. what this is set for. This thing here is to catch the froth. Now, 
we find we don't need it. We just stir the froth in. We'll show you here in just a second. We don't even use this part. Some people do, some people don't. Personal preference. Now, important note, make sure you put the capture under the spout. This has happened before, and you waste the liquid gold. You get all amped up on the liquid grain gold juice. You forget to put it under there, your juice, and you're like, oh, hey, ah. So, it boom, it happens. Don't feel bad Once you get into the juice, you'll find out. You know what we're talking about. This thing here, push it. Boom! Boom! You don't want to stick your hand up. Don't put your hand there. Ah! Grind your hand up. Alright, so recipe today. We'll start pulling out of the fridge. Jess, what we she's going to pull out of the fridge. I'm going to wash it, chop it, and she's going to grind it. It's going to be a little bit loud. Hopefully the video is loud enough. That's our one concern here. We'll try not to talk to Turn up your volume if you have to. Okay. Here's one. Wash it with cold water. Always cold water. Okay? You don't just peel it, you don't have to do anything. Lemon, any kind of citrus, no matter what. What we do is we take off just the outer rind, okay? Just the yellow part. Leave the white part. From what I'm told, the white part is filled with bioflavonoids, which are packed with vitamins, nutrients, all the good stuff. This is a pink lemon. Is that where they get pink lemonade from? It might be. Ah. I don't know. If you look at it, the taste of it, it's like, imagine a super tart orange. And that's what it tastes like. It's delicious. It's packed with nutrients, vitamins, all the good stuff. Apple? Okay. There's no peel on the apple. We're good to go. I'm going to wash it with some cold water. We're going to cut it in half. Now, we'll pull out the stem, get out the seeds. From what we hear, the research that we've done, the seeds are poisonous. A little bit of arsenic in there. You don't want arsenic in your juice. And uh, I just learned of this. So this is a little piece off the bottom. We yeah, we might have been drinking our snacks for a couple of weeks now. Maybe that's why we're all amped up. So we if don't you forget this step for a few times, don't fret. You'll be fine. You'll, You'll be survive. Fine, but don't. You're watching the video. You know. Don't get too much. Jalapeno, unless you like it super spicy. Ooh. Cut out the seeds. Take them out. Okay. Just gonna cut right around there. Around the, do we have right around there. We'll we're going to we're grind this down the incinerator. Yep. If you have a compost pile at home, compost it. That's what we... Rinse it off. That needs to be one of our videos. We need to get in the compost because... We need to get in the compost. You get so much good stuff, we could be composting. We could be composting. All that dried out stuff, compost, if you have it. What do we have here? Cilantro? Cilantro. Rinse it off. A little cold water. A little cold Boom. Water. What else do we have? A little ginger. A ginger. little bit of ginger goes a long way. Ginger is so good for your digestive tract. It's just really calming for your tummy. Yep. It's good over. little dried out part here. I cut it off, grind it up, and then I do a little chunk. A little bit goes a long way. You'd be surprised how spicy this ginger is. You'll feel that it's as spicy as, as the jalapeno, if not more. <laughs> I'm almost choking up just breathing in those ginger fumes. Mm, amazing. Carrots? Once again, always organic. We go organic nonstop. Usually we'll go to the farmer's market, we get some carrots that have big long stems off of them. Recently, we didn't make it to the farmer's market, we got these. These are still organic. It's going to hold bad, like, Five pound bag. Five pound bag of organic. Three dollars. Just cut off that very nub on the end. And Leave if you it. do get carrots with stems, cut those off. Those are toxic. Yes. Do not eat the carrot stems. One of the few, other than the apple seeds, you do not want to eat the carrot stems. Okay. Two things in juicing you don't want to do. Okay. Pear. Cut off the stem. I don't know if the pear seeds are toxic or what. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We're gonna cut them out just in case. Just in case. And we normally we'll don't try and cut air, but I grabbed one at the market and I was like, let's try it. We'll try it. So it's a new thing. It's going to be a little sweeter. And that's the great part about juicing. You can just juice whatever. We Grab can whatever. What's the taste and good in the moment? Where are we at on the mustard grains? Do we have the mustard grains we still? We have mustard Do we have celery greens. still? We're out of celery. Out of celery. Um, we did get mustard greens. Super strong. Like Super insanely strong. tangy. Definitely your first time juicing. Stay away, Stay away from, from the mustard greens. Okay. I don't think I will get strong again, um, honestly. We're going to avoid that. Okay. okay. So, is this all we got green wise? That's all we got veggie wise. We're cleaning out the kitchen. The beauty of juicing is you have some extra greens. 
you don't know how to cook them, you don't know what to do with them, throw them in your juice. Let's do this. Fire it up. Already. Right. Lou and Jess, keeping it simple. Subscribe. We have a bunch of awesome videos coming your way. Thanks for watching to our first one. Any constructive criticism, feedback, we'd love to hear it. Delicious, 
We're going to show you, okay, extra bonus thing here. A lot of people want to show you. We're going to show you how to clean the juicer. Very quickly. Mm. Also, side note, if you didn't want to drink it now, say you want to make it the night before you go to work, you just want to get up, grab your juice while you're getting ready or on your way to work, you can put it, we have an old um, marinara sauce jar. Mason jar? Mason jar. Bell jar? Bell jar. You stick it under there or after you make it, pour it in here, tighten it up, put it in the fridge. Morning. It may separate. Shake right. it up. Shake yeah. it up before you drink it. Perfect. Ready to go. The lemon, the acid in the lemon, preserves it, helps it from oxidizing. Mm -hmm. um, fill up the container as close as you can get to the top and screw the top on so you don't get oxidization. Let's clean this bad boy. Clean it. So, here's our little dried greens here. This part here pops right up. Boom. Now, we got the green bag in the back. Not the green bag, the recycled bag. We're reusing this bag, okay, so it's a good thing. Put this right here. I'm now, plugging. you don't want to clog up your drain. Even if you're going to grind it up, whatever, all the greens, right here, okay? This is all edible material right here. There's nothing, uh, there's no dirt in here, there's no contaminants in here or anything like that. So, get as much of the greenery out of here as you possibly can. And again, this we could be, should be composting. Should be composting. If we weren't in an apartment right now, uh, maybe a couple months, we have a house. Who knows? Keep following us. We'll see. We'll have this composted. Okay. Maybe Meantime, the garden and get the greens out. We'll rinse it all out. Get as much of the greens out as you can. Okay. This is, this this will have a tendency to clog up your sink or whatever. If you have a food grinder, grind it up. Clean it up as much as possible. Boom. Right here. You're done. This part here, you're good to go again for another bag back there. This stuff, just rinse it off. You only really need soap. Scrub it just a little bit. You're ready to go. Ready for your next batch of juice. So, Lou and Jess. Lou and Jess, keep keeping it, it simple. simple. Today we did assembly of your juicer. How to clean the juicer. Clean the juicer. How to, How to make drink the juice. juice. And drink it. Good recipe for the juice. Yeah. Uh, hope you enjoy. Hope you take on juicing. You'll find it changes your life. And please subscribe and keep watching. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.